thousands of Afghans are on the move. Many are fearful of U.S. retaliation for last Tuesday's terrorist attacks in the United States. But just how many are leaving or where they'll end up is not certain. Pakistan virtually shut down its border with Afghanistan on Tuesday, halting the flow of everything but food and calling in police to confine Afghan refugees to dozens of camps. It's several days since these refugees crossed from Afghanistan to Turkham on the Khyber Pass border with Pakistan. Now they're in no man's land, and this is where they'll be staying for the foreseeable future. Pakistani police are not allowing anyone to cross. Conditions are already harsh enough, but they could deteriorate extremely quickly. In Iran, there are also concerns of a wave of refugees if military action occurs. Russia is also maintaining a 25,000-strong force in Tajikistan to patrol the border that the former Soviet Republic shares with Afghanistan. Tajikistan has said it would cooperate with the United States to fight international terrorism. The border is beset with problems, including a flourishing drug smuggling trade and thousands of Afghan refugees who are living on islands in a river that separates the two countries. In Afghanistan, the Taliban has set up roadblocks around the capital to prevent people leaving, while aid workers fear there could be a humanitarian disaster as food relief deliveries are stopped. Aid organizations are urging U.S. policymakers to take into account the humanitarian consequences of any retaliatory attack on Afghanistan.